Good morning, everyone. I'm really happy to see you again in this video. And today I'm going to share you about formative assessment. And in this video, there are four main steps that I'm going to focus on. The first one is about the concept and the definition of formative assessment. The second one is um, the purpose of formative assessment. The third one is a tool that, that can be used for assess the student formatively and the last one is the recommendation for the teacher. So as we know that the concept of formative assessment was introduced in 1971 by Bloom, Hafsting and Mondes, CRR 2008. And the definition of formative assessment based on William 2013 it is assessment for learning or assessment that adapt to the student needs. And there are three main purposes of using this kind of assessment. The first one is we use it in order to assess the student where they are now, what they need to do in the course, and how to get their deserved result at the end of the course. So by assessing the student where they are, the, the, the teacher can really understand, can be aware of how the student learn based on what the, the lesson they, they, they teach so far and what did the student need to do at the moment and what they have to prepare for the future in order to achieve the, the requirement of the course. And the second purpose of formative assessment is it promotes a lifelong learning. As we know that formative assessment is about process. It mainly focuses on the process. It's not about the product. So process, it already promotes the lifelong learning of a student because the student learn it step by step. It's, it's going back, forward, forward. It's, so this is the process and it's a lifelong learning. If they fail this time, they can learn from their mistake and improve it. And the last one is by Dirksen 2011. Formative assessment is kind of reset button for the student. So when the teacher employ formative assessment in order to assess their classroom, it means that the teacher is trying to give the student a chance, give them the, the reset button in order for the student to, to press the button and learn from the mistake, learn from what they have been so far in the course and then improve progress to the next step and get to the, the, the level that they want and the course requires. And the next is about the tool that can be used in formative assessment. So according to Dirksen 2011, there are some tools that, that the teacher can, can adopt in order to use. The first one is collaborative learning, assignment activity, journal writing, quick writes, and also graphic organizer. So this kind of tool, I believe that the teacher can make use of this kind of tool in order to assess their student formatively. And last but not least, as a teacher, if you want to use formative assessment to assess your classroom, you have to remember that it is kind of assessment that focuses on the process. So if you want to assess the student formatively, please focus on the, the process of learning, the process of um, helping students in order to improve their language learning. The second one is that you, you should focus on the progress but not on the, the grade of the student. If the student make the progress, that means that you are successfully implementing formative assessment. The last one, you have to remember that you give the student chance to to improve, to learn more and more in the course. So this is called reset button for the student. 
Well, so that's all for today, and thank you for watching.